Sri Lanka is subjected to a lot of rain-induced landslides uh, in, um, in our central part of the country. Uh, there is hilly terrain and uh, in road widening, steep cuts are made in those terrain. So uh, they are subjected to rain-induced landslides from time to time uh, due to lack of drainage. At present, uh, under the World Bank uh, sponsorship, we are re rehabilitating a number of landslides in the Kandy Mayangana Road and also in the Nuarelia Badula Road at Haggala. Uh, this road had been widened about five years back uh, without looking seriously at the drainage measures. So as a result, uh, there were a number of landslides. So we have adopted uh, different uh, mitigation techniques. Uh, so the, the, the rain, as the rainfall is the triggering factor, so first thing is to um, minimize the amount of water flowing into the cut slope, which is in an unstable state. So uh, there were cutoff drains done above the landslide scars to divert the water coming from the further upstream. In certain cases, uh, we could identify with our investigations the water table going up and there were seepages of water. So in those situations, we have to, low, we have to drill into the soil uh, for distances 10-15 meters and install perforated subsurface drains so whatever the pore pressure accumulated in the soil uh, could easily get dissipated through these subsurface drains. With certain slopes, uh, these drainage measures, that is the combination of surface and subsurface drainage, is not enough. We had to use additional reinforcing techniques. So soil nailing was used as the reinforcing technique. In some cases, when the soil, exposed soil is highly erodible, the nail heads had to be connected by beams and the surface shot created. So that is not a very environmentally friendly uh, solution. Therefore, in uh, all the places we initially tried to combine the nail heads, uh, connect it by a high strength steel mesh and introduce vegetation. So uh, generally, so those are the rectification measures that we have adopted in these slopes. So throughout the country, in uh, many other slopes, uh, we had used the same approach. First, attempt to improve the surface drainage, subsurface drainage. When there is not sufficient, introduce reinforcing techniques size soil nailing, and sometimes tow retaining structures in the form of gravity walls, like gabion walls, uh, masonry walls, and so forth. So when I talk with my colleagues in uh, Afghanistan, uh, Bhutan, uh, Nepal, I found that their, their slope instability problems are more severe and they are in a much larger scale. The mitigation practices to be adopted in those countries would be more complex, but they had certain things to learn from this conference.